Right, hello everybody. Yes, welcome to another Pottery Plays with your host, Pottery Boy, aka Andrew. Now today I'm going to be taking a look at Panzer Dragoon, in particular, the PC version. <laughs> yeah, uh, this was uh, developed by Sega, Sega, and it was originally released on the Sega Saturn back in 1995. There are, of course, uh, this game was also, of course, available as, uh, um, as an unlockable extra on Panzer Dragoon Auto on the Xbox. Well, and I believe there's also a uh, remake on the PlayStation 2, uh, which I believe was only available in Japan. And, and, um, and of course, there was also a Panzer Dragoon game released for Tiger's R Zone, for those who remember that shitty little thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, basically, the story of Panzer Dragoon is uh, basically, basically uh, uh, it's, it's kind of similar like a, a post apocalyptic world, world uh, where humans are created uh, like this creature sort of thing. And um, and they've now, of course, ter all turned against the humans, and now the hi and now the humans are running all scared from from the evil dark dragon. Um, dragon. So it's up to you. So they they base basically it's up to you. Um, it's up to you riding on your dra uh, It's up to you. And, uh, yeah, you basically get on. You ride on your dragon, and the idea is you got to go around and you got to shoot stuff. Um, anyway. So let's get on to the game. And uh, of course, three difficulty levels. There's, uh, there's easy, normal, and hard, of course. Uh, if you play the game on easy, uh, you're allowed to go up to stage four, and then it will say try the game on a harder difficulty. Yes, it's one of those games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I think in general there's only about six stages if you play it on normal or hard. But um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to put it on normal. Uh, now, there is a, now, there is a little. Um, uh, glitch. I don't know if it's just a glitch with a PC version in general, or it's just, um, or it, it's just uh, uh, the game having a bit of difficulty running under Windows 7 uh, Ultimate 64-bit. Yeah, that's the uh, OS company run on it. Uh, it, run, it runs on pretty much any version of uh, Windows, Windows, apart from, from what I hear, Windows 8. Uh, but anything up to 7, I hear it works. It works really well. So, uh, um, so a normal game. Now, th this is the problem. Uh, you get blank screen, <laughs> but that can be fixed by uh, pausing the game by pressing F3, and then unpause, and that will start playing the intro. Uh, we're not going to watch the intro. As great as the intro is, we're not going to watch it. Not watch it, but I'll uh, put a link somewhere. I think somewhere in the video uh, to someone who's already done it. <laughs> uh, but it's very good. It's worth checking out. Anyway, so this is the gameplay. Uh, I can't describe this game as kind of like. Big Star with the dragons. Um, it's just basically you riding on your dragon and you've got to go around and you've got to shoot stuff. But what makes this different from um, Star Wing? Um, well, well there are, there's a couple of things that are different. Obviously, aside from obviously the, t the different setting and the fact that you're on a dragon, you know, uh, there's a few extra things. Uh, first off is the lock on feature, which you can see in action here. Yeah, you, uh, it's basically achieved by holding down the fire button and then basically locking onto a then basically you lock onto your enemies by highlighting them and then you let go and you unleash a load of little, little missile -y type things uh, get your bad guys very, very handy if you've got like, a lot of bad guys on the screen uh, you also have to um, you, you can also um, uh, turn the camera around as well so you can shoot some stuff on um, not just in front of you but also uh, but also to look um, but also behind and to the side of the dragon as well yeah because quite often you'll come there'll be times where you will have to uh, Turn around and shoot stuff behind you and things. Um, so I suppose that adds a bit of a, yeah, that does add a bit of a, a bit of originality and variation to the game. Um, but uh, well, how does it play? Uh, it plays really quite well. Um, like I said, it's not a long game. It, yeah, you can finish the game in about just under an hour or so. Because um, with only six levels and a boss, yeah, there's not much to it. Um, but it, it's good fun. It's good. It's good simple arcade. Arcade action. What, what, what Sega used to do, um, do and, do, and actually did really quite well at. <laughs> um, uh, so control wise, yeah, control wise, pretty good. Um, it's a little while to get used to the rotation of the camera and things, but once you do, it's pretty, it's it's pretty straightforward. Um, well, um, graphically, the game hasn't aged too well. Uh, it's got to be said, but then again, not many uh, 3D games from back in from back in about ninth, back in around about mid mid nineties have aged well anyway. Um, I think 
I think it's a particular with this uh, PC port, there's not many graphical options. I mean, let's go. F well, let's go through all the options now. So you press F5 is your first option screen. Uh, that's just to uh, change the controls. You can have a PC pad. There's also a keyboard and Sega pad as well, uh, which is interesting. And you can go keyboard as well, which for some reason I lose control of the joypad if I select it. <laughs> so let's use the arrow keys. There you go, PC pad. Uh, you can also change the up down as well which is reverse. Now to go from one option screen to the other you have to come out then and then get then press the, the function key you want to do in this case I pressed F6. Uh, this one allows you to assign your keys to the joypad or keyboard or whatever you've got it set to. Um, in which case you've got fire. It's changed view as well which doesn't seem to do much. Then there's a turn left and there's a turn right which is you're basically you're aiming your left and right. Uh, so let's come out come out of that one. F F7, right. Okay, here's your game. This is your game configuration. Okay, right. You got you got your game speed, which is fast. Uh, interlace is off as well. Uh, you turn the interlace on if you've got a slower PC. Uh, well, what was well if you got what was considered slow back in 1996 here in this game when this port came out. Uh, high graphics detail. So uh, AVI size is set to large, of course. Uh, that's the, basically like the opening and the ending movies because uh, they're AVI format. Um, and then you've got screen mode, right? There's two screen modes 640 by 480 16 bit color, or you can have 640 by 480 8 bit color, which looks a bit crappy. So let's go back to 16 bit. Um, but, and yeah, you can't change resolution, that's that's the only resolution you can play at. And it's full screen only. So yeah, you can only play it 640 by 480 full screen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, not much in the way of graphical options there. And unfortunately, yeah, you can't scale the game. And that is your graphics options. Yeah, that's all you've got. <laughs> so anyway, so um, so anyway, so the graphically, like I said, the game, the game hasn't aged too well. Um, Sound-wise, the soundtrack in this is really good. Um, I found the sound. I find the soundtrack to be really epic. Um, the sound is nothing uh, really special. It's just your, your typical laser fires, explosions, uh, your typical squeals when the bad guys when the bad guys die, and you've got your water splashes and things. Pretty simple stuff, really. But the soundtrack is really good. Um, I'm actually uh, thinking about get. I'm actually thinking about getting it, getting a copy of the soundtrack just to put on my iPod. <laughs> um, yeah, so overall, it's, this is a good fun little game, and I do enjoy it. Um, I think this is 99p well spent, because this is a game that I, I really wanted to play for a little while, uh, but never had the chance to, because I didn't have a Saturn back in the day, I didn't even have a PC. Uh, either, you know, the computer we had then was a Commodore Amiga, and the console we had at the time was a PlayStation. And of course, with the way Sega were at the time, you know, only developing games for their consoles, um, so, you know, the chances of me playing Pants Dragon were pretty slim. Until now, of course. Um, it's, it's hoping for a HD remake of this game, uh, along with Pants Dragon 2 and Saga as well. And maybe, or, and maybe, probably Chuck in Auto in that as well. Um, as well, so, um, overall, uh, this is a really good fun little game. I do enjoy this, and I think it's worth, it's worth playing. Uh, if you see it, if you see it around for your sat if you've got Saturn or you know, or you know, a good PC that will run it that you think that you know will run it. Um, and uh, you know, and you know, you wanna play it, you know, it's you haven't played this game, it's it's worth checking out. Um, um now of course um now of course yeah, I do apologise once again for um, not, uh, not uh, uploading quick uh, videos often enough. Uh, once again, uh, uh, been pretty, pretty busy, bit, been pretty busy with life as well. You know, things. So uh, uh, obviously with, um, obviously with, you know, obviously with, uh, with a new, uh, a new member of the family uh, here and stuff and things. So we've been pretty busy. So, uh, uh, but overall, uh, but overall, I'm, I'm okay myself. So. Um, so, but yeah, I've just been a bit, I've just been a bit busy. So, um, but hopefully, I should get some more videos up and running very soon. Um, I'm going to be start. Um, for those of you who haven't checked them out, uh, do check out uh, my live stream. Uh, I do, yeah, I do live stream on Twitch. Um, 
Snatch and uh, I recently, I recently finished uh, Snatcher, um, Snatcher and really enjoyed it. Um, enjoy, and I did enjoy doing my little live streams. Uh, I enjoyed doing the live streams. And I decided, you know, I've, I've already decided on um, basically making it twice a week instead of uh, doing it on a Thursday. Uh, it's not. It's now going to happen Tuesday night as well. So I'll be streaming Tuesday and Thursday evenings. And um, the next game I'm going to be playing is is one that's only just come out. That is South Park: The Stick of Truth. I, I chose that one because uh, it was a game I was been interested in playing because uh, because I love South Park and uh, I do and I do like RPGs. But the the one criticism I always had of RPGs is that they're always far too long. But with South Park: The Stick of Truth, it's only on for, it's only about 12 hours. Um, 12 hours long with not much in the way we play value but it, yeah it's South Park and yeah it's a game I really wanted to and it's a game I had I had expressed interest in from you know since it was like first announced and um, and I can't wait to do it I've already sort of like given it like a little couple of like test runs you know just to uh, make sure it works and things and from what I can tell I'm, I reckon I'm going to really enjoy this and um like I said, I, want, I wanted to do something new as well. Uh, help, help get my uh, my Twitch channel noticed as well by doing something uh, new instead of old. I'll be yeah, I'll be mixing it up. I'll be doing a bit of old and new, new and um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I just, I just want people to come on, come on down, and enjoy my enjoy my live streams because I enjoy it. So, um, anyway, um, I'm going to leave uh, it. it here now. Uh, obviously, if you haven't checked us out already, uh, check us out at uh, www.rmyfusion.com. We are looking for new members. Yes, we need. Come, come on, guys. We need. We need some new members on the site. So yeah, we, yeah. You, if you're probably wondering, are you going on there? Anything? Oh, there's not much content and stuff. Oh, well, if you've got any ideas for content and things, and you're willing to contribute, um, sign up. Give us a shout on the forums, and um, and we'll and well. <laughs> We'll, we'll give you a, well we'll give you a big um, thumbs up <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll give you the all clear and uh, give you, and give you some content we, we don't just cover games now we obviously we talk about uh, 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 films uh, uh, cartoons anime even a bit of uh, Tokusatsu as well which is uh, Japanese Power Rangers uh, so do so do come on check us out yeah you know, and, and sign up on our site and also don't forget to check out our podcast on uh, uh, iTunes and Podomatic, and also follow. You can follow us also on uh, Facebook and Twitter at uh, Armo Fusion. And um, and uh, yeah, come on down if you're into if you're into if you're into gaming and gaming general, whether it's retro, modern, or indie. That's what the Armo and Armo Fusion stands for. Do check us out. Uh, we we highly recommend it. So it'll be well worth your time. Anyway, guys, uh, this is Potty Boy over and out. I should be back again soon with another video. And in the meantime, goodbye for now. Things like this, things like that. It's all good in the long run.